Hello everyone, today we disassemble the engine and here is the engine in question. For those who don't know, this is the EJ25, the 2.5 flat 4 engine from the 06 STI which had excessive oil consumption and oil blow-by. Found a good amount of oil in the intake manifold and intercooler and also had low compression on all cylinders pretty much uh, the lowest was 95 psi the highest was 120 which is no bueno here you can see i made a, uh, a sterile area for all the engine parts i assure you i vacuumed it at least twice so whatever i take off first i'm gonna start putting it in order so so there's less confusion when I'm going to be putting it back together always remember to take pictures before you take stuff off A little bit of play on the pilot bearing might as well just replay I may consider actually getting a lightweight flywheel this is actually not that heavy but yeah we'll see this is clutch What the hell is this? Mouse food?
All right, so you saw how difficult these bolts these bolts were coming off. This one I did, or this one, one of these I did off camera, but it was equally difficult. And I was successful with all but this one, just by holding the the crankshaft pulley in place. So the belt was actually holding the sprockets. But this one actually gave me trouble and the sprocket was skipping on the belt. So couldn't continue. Good thing I've noticed because at first I I thought it's actually the bolt is actually giving in. So I had to stop, made some phone calls. A few hours went by and I got these tools. I actually borrowed these tools from a buddy of mine. I want to say thank you. You know who you are. Here we go. These are actually made by AMS. A AMS. This is for the exhaust sprocket or sprockets. And this one is for the intake. I don't need this one now, but I'm gonna need it when I torque these down, uh, when I'm, you know, putting the engine back together. So this goes there, like that. So we're gonna try and take this sucker out. Another pipe. Uh, this twisted a little bit If something's gonna give in it's gonna be this No, it actually it slid inside here Not good Ah, oh, this sucks You give me no other choice. What to do? I could probably weld it weld the tool to the bolt or maybe find a slightly bigger size and knock it in now if I were to weld it should I weld this one or this one which one's stronger if I weld this one then I do 
have to use this and this might snap if that's the case then I'm gonna be effed again if I weld this one well this might snap then I'm gonna be effed again it's a 10 mil allen this is 10 this is 10 that's the biggest that I've got I don't have an 11 or 10 and a half if, if, if it exists I got another 10 this one is actually this one says 10 mil allen USA this one just says 10 mil which one you think is stronger so I filed this down to bare metal both ends I mean look at this Also filed the bolt on the outside. Okay, plan B, got a 36 mil nut here, I believe this one is like a ball joint, lower ball joint uh, nut from maybe a pickup truck or whatever, doesn't matter. Cleaned the inside threads as best as I could and the outside here, I plan to weld it obviously inside and come out and weld on the outside as well. Oh yeah! Should I wait till it uh, cools down on its own? Uh, spray water on it so it hardens or go ahead and try loosening it now all these questions what to do what to do hmm maybe because I sprayed water on this tool it made it brittle and that's why it broke Oh shit. No way. I thought it <laughs> I thought the weld started to come apart, but it's the bolt. Yes! 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 You know, it was the heat from the welding.
that got it loose. And of course, you know, where's the socket? This was a 36. Hey, you guys think I, I can reuse this? Let me know in the comments below. Tools, tools, tools.